This one was sent in by Matt Warren. Thank you, Matt Warren. It's by Yahoo Answers user Megan, who asks, I need help naming my chinchilla breeding business. Hello. I am looking into breeding chinchillas, but I need a name for my company. I want it to be something elegant and pretty, and the last word needs to be chinchillas or exotics. I don't want anything that says Megan's or Ontario's, etc. I also don't want silly names like Chinny Chin Chins. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> That's the best one, though. Uh, it needs to sound sophisticated. For example, some names I like are Blue Moon Chinchillas, Blue Moon Exotics, Autumn Breeze Chinchillas, Autumn Breeze Exotics, White Rose Chinchillas, White Rose Exotics. If you need any other information, just ask. Also, if you want uh, to add in some possible chinchilla names, I wouldn't mind. Wink, wink, nudge, Bramble nudge. pelt. <laughs> Thanks for everything, <laughs> Megan. Storm scream. Uh, uh, Night shadow. Can I suggest uh, fluffy rats exotics? Mm-hmm. Because that says what they are without being coming right out and saying chinchillas. Chinchillas have been on the nose. Can I suggest chin deep? <laughs> chin deep. Now, it does have to end with chinchillas or exotics. Uh, Those are the rules. Chin, chin deep exotics? Oh, that's not good. That's not a good. <laughs> that doesn't work for me. Yeah, that's not a few a good. levels. That's, uh, that's that sounds like good. a website that opens up when you're on another website you shouldn't be on accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go chin deep? <laughs> How did you get chin deep? <laughs> Why is it that when what? someone started dumping exotics, when it got waist deep, you weren't like out? <laughs> it didn't happen all at once. I am chin deep in exotics right That now. pit of exotics doesn't look so deep. I'm going to jump in and just see how it goes. Ah! I'm chin deep. What about speed rats? Speed rats. Because that's what chinchillas are. They're like rats, but they, they dart back and forth very quickly. Erotic exotics. Okay. <laughs> now we're on to something. Yeah. That's good. It's got like a little flow to it. What about Mussolini's chinchillas? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you want something classy. Something classy. Uh, How about Sacco Chinchillas? Sacco Chinchillas. And then your best thing is, like, you already have a gimmick. So, like, people come in, you're like, how about a sack of Chinchillas? <laughs> and, like, they can pay extra for the grab bag. And who knows what's <laughs> yeah. in the grab bag? Spoiled or dead Chinchillas. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, there's a good one. Dead Chinchillas! <laughs> people name. come in like, hey, what the fuck, man? And you're like, no, 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 they're very, they're very much alive. So you want, would you like one? It's pronounced the odd. How about tiny shitty cats? <laughs> chinchillas. Exotics. Exotics. Anytime you have like any pet smaller than a cat, just fuck you. Like, that's not a thing. Yeah, that's get out of here with that. Unless it's a ferret, which is like a long cat. I still don't like those. A friend of mine once told me that I shouldn't be afraid of his chinchilla because it has little raspberry eyes and mm-hmm. and it wouldn't hurt a flea. What does that mean? That's that's a weird name for a it business. Has like, it has like segmented eyes? Yeah. It ha- no, it looks like a ra- I, I think it may be just the color of raspberry. I hope they don't have segmented eyes. That would be pretty much the worst. <laughs> <laughs> the um, worst thing. They can see you from all angles. I, there's got to be something. Right? I think we've got... Out of curiosity, are there any answers on that question? Yeah, there's got to be some, right? I mean, they're all, but they're all very. Um, uh, how about clueless money grubbers are us? That's a little mean. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Breeding any animal is not a business or a company. They're not there for your profit. <laughs> I'm ruining things. Uh, oh God. <laughs> oh God. Ragged Telecaster says, "I don't know about names, but I'll breed with your chinchillas if you like." Oh no, dude. What? <laughs> what did you say to me? You'll breed. You'll breed. Here, hey, do it on site and call it the worst thing you've ever seen. Too jealous. <laughs> the island of Doctor Moreau. Yeah, <laughs> a nightmare circus side show. Like, Everything you've ever feared in your life, chinchillas. <laughs> How about just chinchilla? chinchilla? Maybe want to die. <laughs> How about loose and easy chinchillas? <laughs> Madam, Madam Chinchillas. Madam Chinchillas. <laughs> Your first time around, you're going to want Rosie. She, she uh, breaks in the newbies. Yahoo Answers user Emerald A responded, I like Autumn Breeze exotics, but I am thinking Chinny Chinny Chillala? <laughs> chinchilla Cool Cats. Or Chinchilla CCs for short. 
Chinchilla C. What? Is it, it is good to start out the name with C because one of the first listed in directories. And how about Chinny Chilled Out Cats? Lol. What the <laughs> fuck are you saying? Chinny Chilled Out Cats? How about okay. Fun Dip Baseball Disco Dance? Like, how about we just name a bunch of words that have nothing to do with the thing that she asked about? So he says... You should pick something with a C because it's one of the first letters. Like, you know the first one, right, dog? <laughs> when I go on. <laughs> yeah. You there know are maybe a. a few pages in the directory that precede uh, Chinny Chilled Out Cats. You dumb fuck. To be People fair, are go everyone there. knows everyone just skips right over A and B because those are for pussies. You got to go right into the C. That's where the meat of the matter is. Absolutely amazing. Chinny Chin Chin Chilled Out Cats. Aardvarks. Chin chinchillas. For this is what you call your business: aardvarks and chinchillas, and not aardvarks. <laughs> aardvarks, chinchillas, and just kidding about the aardvark exotics. <laughs> just do a rebus with a picture of an aardvark plus chinchilla minus aardvarks. <laughs> because everybody knows that in the film book, rebus is come first. <laughs> Go on in and watch a grown man fucking chinchilla. <laughs> well, the so Rebus, glad we're back to that. The Rebus for that is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> here at Aardvark Chinchillas and not Aardvarks. <laughs> I came here to fuck Aardvarks and Chinchillas and we're fresh out of Aardvarks. <laughs> <laughs> so this is misleading advertising. I'm, a, I'm also a lawyer. <laughs> here to see you. But first, I am going to. <laughs> I've heard good things about Rosie. Can you drag me to her? <sighs> Goddamn slut rats. Fuck You're fooling rats. nobody. <laughs> I can't get past it. Nothing's funnier than a man having sex with a chinchilla. How am I going to top that? With like, or like logistically like perplexing. Yeah. It's- <laughs> All I can picture is that if that was as the business, watch a dude fuck a chinchilla. It's just him waving and smiling at a crowd. <laughs> and it's really messing with me. Dear Bob, oh. do you and your chinchilla size wiener want to go to Sadie Hawkins with me? <laughs> Get back of me. Here's here's a photo of reference for people who are, are not familiar with Bob. You said chinchilla sized and I heard chinchilla shaped. <laughs> <laughs> we have to move on. We can't. <laughs> Legally. Uh, I'm stuck here. I'm stuck here. <laughs> <laughs>